Good morning, y'all. It's Michelle from Monkey's Creations. I'm a couple minutes late. I do apologize. But let me get y'all pulled up. <clears throat> let me turn the sound down. Because I was live in the VIP group last night. And I got you up. Good morning, y'all. Hello, hello. Good morning, good morning. So, a lot of y'all have been asking um, if you have seen it, the kind of peppermint um, using um, this petal where it goes all the way around. Uh, so, Tina and I racked our brain for, I know, over an hour last night trying to figure this out for y'all. Um, so, I think we did. Uh, so let me show you what I came up with. Now, number one, you can use just the regular board. Um, you would have to probably put three petals in each zip tie, okay? So it can be done. Uh, this was me just playing. Um, so you can see there's kind of a gap, like right here between the petals. And that's because there's such a big gap right here. So I think if you put a third petal in each one, you would be golden. I did one beta, and I put extra holes on the ring board. So um, I used my wood burner to put the holes in the board. Um, if you've never seen me do that before, jump over to YouTube after this. Um, and I've done a tutorial on how to put holes in your boards using a wood burner, okay? So, this is the front. Look at that mess. But if you can see my sketch marks, um, so here I've got the red petals. So, that is the red and white. Um, and then I've got one white, two whites, and I've got my pattern written on there. Now, I did take a picture before I put on the zip ties, so I will post that picture in the comments um, after the live, or you can screenshot this if you can read my scribble. I think if I kind of, there, if I kind of turn it at an angle, you can see my, my sketch marks. I'll give you a minute to screenshot that, but then I'll share um, the picture um, in the comments, okay? And then we're going to play around with a couple centers. Uh, so I made a right white rope center, but we can also play with um, the signs that you could put in the middle. Um, so I've not done a completed one. I just did enough where we could figure out the next step. Um, because I knew this one was going to be difficult, okay? But y'all wanted it, and Tina and I think we have figured it out, all right? So let me bring you down so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to make a couple of petals <clears throat> so that you can see how I made those. And I'll, I'll make a few, since this isn't a petal I use a lot, I will make a few kind of as we go, all right? So, what you're going to do is, I did wood burn these. You do not have to, but I did, only because I wasn't sure how it was going to go, if I was going to, you know, I just wasn't sure, and I didn't want it fraying everywhere. So I did wood burn mine, all right? So they are 10 by 10. We are going to do curl side up, just like that. Let me get my bands open. Okay, so diamond shape. We're going to bring top to the bottom, just like that. So almost like we're making a rose. A lot of petals start out this way. I'm going to kind of line my lines up 
Now I'm going to take this middle, kind of pull it down and stretch it, and then pinch right here at the top. So it kind of gives you that C, that, um, that curved look. If I did it down here, it wouldn't be as much, but you could. Um, but I like mine up here, high and tight, just like that. And then we're going to band it. Or you can put it right in your board, whichever works best for you. And then that is our petal. Okay? Good morning, everybody. Now, for the red, because I didn't look. I was just playing. So I didn't want to waste and open up a whole nother row, um, roll, roll of this. Because, it look, it's more expensive, right? Um, so I'm doing more white than I am the red. So I only have 16 pieces of the red. If you follow this layout, you're going to need 48 pieces, okay? So more than a roll of mesh, which I don't like, but I did, okay? Um, let me get my tools out from this mess over here. There we go. Okay, now we're ready to roll. So the red, I'm doing two petals. Okay, so we're just putting one right over the other, just like that. Now you can cut these off if you want. I don't think I'm going to, but you can. Um, and then we're just going to stick these ends right into that zip tie. Okay, now you're going to get these other zip ties are going to be kind of in your way, but it's easier to go ahead and put them in now versus later, and you having to fiddle under all of that. Okay, and then just zip tie it. Now you're going to have to trust the process here. I know my nails, I finally got my nails done. So trust the process, it's going to look a hot mess until we get it down, okay? Thanks for floating my boat. All right, so here we're gonna put one white. And then two whites because I want to make sure that we don't have that big gap like we did on the other one but I also don't want to waste a bunch of mesh either right so doing it this way y'all these are gonna get on my nerves sorry I wasn't planning on cutting those but I'm gonna have to Uh, the white is just regular deco mesh. Um, the red and white is the heavily fold um, deco mesh. Okay, now we're going with the one. Hello, hello. Now we might even be able to get away with putting one petal in each one um, so we'll just have to to see you all know I'm winging it so I don't always know how they're going to turn out let's get a couple red up here and I'll make this petal again in case you missed it and we're going to make it two more times I did add the holes in here um, but it can be done on the regular board without adding extra holes. Okay, so 10 by 10, curl side up, bring your top to the bottom, turn it sideways, kind of line these up. doesn't have to be perfect because you're not going to see this end at all. 
and then take this middle, kind of pull it down and stretch it, pinch right there in the middle, bring your edges together, and then put it right in your board or band it. Just like that, okay? All right, so we're gonna put two reds. Let's see if I can bring my trash can over here closer, y'all. All right, there we go. And I think now that I'm getting a bunch on here, you're not going to have to use so much mesh if you don't want to. Okay, and then we've got one white. I'm trying to make sure y'all can see. Two whites. Good morning, everybody. Okay, back to the one. Irene, where do you live that it's nighttime? <laughs> where do you live? I want to know. Okay, back to our red. a hot mess right now. Just trust the process. Get all these on here. And we'll just keep our fingers crossed that it comes together. Okay, one white. up with a Tuesday dance, don't we? Just need to come up with a dance for every day of the week. So we're doing two, one, Two, one, and then another red. red. Hello, hello. And hump day. <laughs> So 
this is definitely probably going to be overkill on the mesh, but I'm just going with it. Okay, so two red, one white, two white, one white. So two, one, two, one. Good morning. Look, Lori's out into bed two days in a row. <laughs> She knows I'm just messing with her, y'all. She's getting ready to go on vacation. Like a real vacation. She doesn't get her button gear. Yeah, you still have to go shopping. <laughs> she has to go shopping. Because Dave doesn't know how to order clothes. <laughs> From our cruise vacation. Awesome. I am due. I am in desperate need of a real vacation. Next year, hopefully. Good morning. How was that one going? I just follow the natural curve, and that's the one that goes up. And then I will show the petal again. So, 10 by 10, let me get all this mess so I can bring the rest of these petals up. And cutting mesh from project for Christmas. <laughs> Alright, so 10 by 10, curl side up. Diamond shaped, bring top to the bottom. Okay, just like we start a lot of petals, put it sideways, find your middle here, bring it down, pinch right here, if you can see that where it splits, and then bring your edges in. That way you know all your petals are pretty uniform, okay? You're gonna need 48 pieces. Now you may, like I said, you may be able to get away with a, a little less because I can see there, there's a whole lot of mesh in here that you may not have to use, okay? But I just needed to pick a number and go with it and try to make it work. So we've got two, now we've got our one. reds just coming on where did you get the base this is a unique in the creek um, ring board so you can get them from unique in the creek so 
So I would like to get this wreath down to one roll of mesh. Because that's always my goal with working with these. But I needed to just see if it could be done first. Okay. So we've got one. Get some white coat up here. They're all kind of sticking to each other right now. Hello, hello. I hope I nailed it. We'll see. We'll see when it's done if it comes together. Right now it looks like a hot mess. We're in our t-shirt and sweatpants phase. We'll clean her up in a little bit. <laughs> All right, back to our red. We are almost done, y'all. Believe it or not. A, a lot of people wanted to figure out how to do on a unique in the creek board so me and Tina or Tina and I wrecked our brains last night trying to figure out how to do it because when I see something like this and people want somebody to figure it out I don't like to go to like um, those that have figured this out on a wireframe right I want to be able to figure it out on our own so that, that we can do it. So I think Tina and I figured it out. So if there's ever anything y'all want to want me to try to figure out, I will do my best to figure it out. But I do not like looking at other people's work and trying to figure it out or watch their um, tutorials on a wireframe or anything like that so that's kind of where I draw the line all right so now we're back to one And the ring board was probably the best board because of the way the, the zip ties go. So on your um, your uh, character boards, or no, not your character boards, your, your flower boards, like the large and small, the holes go this way instead of this way. And so it was a little bit harder. So it was definitely easier to figure it out on the ring board for sure. All right, so now we're back to the red. Can you figure out how to get more out? No, I can't do that. <laughs> Doesn't smell like peppermint, unfortunately. Oh, forgot to clip that zip tie. I 
Thanks, Beverly. I try. They don't always work out, y'all. I'll be honest. They don't always work out. Some peppermint extract. Yes. And what you can also do is, um, if you do the coconut bra senna, maybe put um, some vanilla in that senna and then cover the back with some foam board or something. And then it would maybe smell like that. All right, back to one. Oh, have you done that, Lori? No, I'm a petal short. How did that happen? That's all right. We've got one here, and I've got the white there, so we'll just have to cut one more petal. So, we're going to make two more petals. Let me go ahead and cut uno mas, one more. I'm not going to wood burn it, and that's all right. So, ten inches. Grab our bands. We'll make the last two petals. So diamond shape. Bring your top to your bottom. Kind of line them up. Pull down on that middle right here where it's you can see it starts to change. That's where I pinch it. Bring the sides together. You're so welcome. I'm going to go ahead and clip off our ends. Make one more. The other petal's probably in the kitchen. Pull down, pinch. thing got big y'all where did it get so big <laughs> what the heck happened here okay so we've got two working up underneath This is on the ring board. To make it a little bit easier, I did add additional holes, but you can do it on a regular ring board. You would just have to put um, three petals in each zip tie versus, I don't know where to grab it, <laughs> versus what I did. Okay, so I just added um, additional holes between each of the ones that were already there. Okay. All right. Now, for these edges, 
well, let's try to get these a little bit even. Now, I'm not worried about the middle because the middle, that's the good thing about mesh, is the mesh kind of sticks to itself, right? So I just want to make sure all of these ends are in. know I'm OCD and this would drive me insane. Let's get it straightened out. Okay, now the outside, you can either leave it if you like this kind of look. I don't um, because it, it, it leads more to, I mean, it could fray more. You've got the popping out. Um, so the only thing that Tina and I could come up with was to, hold on, let me fix this one, is a little bit off, was to either glue these pieces together or staple them. So we thought, now if you use staples, just be careful, don't put it out in direct weather, um, those kinds of things, all right? But... I'm going to try to just kind of staple these edges together so that they don't fly out like this because that, that just, I just, I personally don't like that look. Some of y'all may, and if you do, good, um, but I don't like it. So I'm going to kind of staple these together, okay? Or you can glue them or you can leave them. Totally up to you. So I'm just going, bringing those two edges together. And just stapling them just like that. And then we will kind of taper them from there. Got that one. But at least this this way we can work with it. And then we'll end up stapling that like that is what I'm thinking. We didn't get this far, Tina and I. So. Or the, um, the middle is going to be covered as well, so you don't have to worry so much about that middle. So 
sorry, I can't read comments and look at what I'm doing right now. So I'll catch up in just a second because some of y'all are probably like, what in the world is this woman doing? Danielle. Okay. Yep, you could definitely add a big heart to the Senna. Um, but I need to figure out this part so let me know where to grab let's flip it over and i'm thinking we can staple this to this on the inside so that those kind of stay and don't get jaggered out. Does that make sense? I'm gonna do about half and then flip it over and kind of see what it looks like. Let's see. So it's gonna have to be more I should have done it while I was looking at it, but. Oh, you know what? bit smaller what you can do is almost like the rows is take these ends and zip tie them to um, the hole and zip tie them the ends down because that's what's bugging me is the ends but you can kind of do that like a um, like a rose Let me see what this looks like before. Okay, and that works too. So what I did was take this tail and we're going to staple it to this petal because you can't see that side. Ooh, okay. 
that's what we're doing. I really like that look. And that kind of keeps them all in place. Okay. don't want to lose that that fullness either flip it back over so I'm just doing that very edge real quick and then we will play with the Senna okay can you see how I'm doing that I wouldn't staple but this is this was just one that there was just no other way around it to get that look yes I put a set of holes in between the holes that were already there but I don't really think you have to you can put like three petals in each of the zip ties using the regular holes trying to get these ones out. From where we were doing something else. Okay. Whew, sweating. This is how we do things when we're trying to figure it out, y'all. It's not always easy. Okay, I'm on 
moment of truth. What's it going to look like? Whew. And red rope and glued it around. Yep, you can do anything. For sure. <gasps> I love it. Nice and neat. Nothing is coming out. Of course, we can fiddle here in the middle a little bit more. But look how cool that is, y'all. <laughs> Sometimes it works. So, I've got a couple of Senna's. Um, so, you could always look how cute that would be. But you need a stapler, <laughs> girl. So you could add a sign. The sign is from Unique in the Creek as well. You could add just a white. I made this white rope Senna this morning. Or you could... Now, obviously not this ball, but you could add an ornament right there in the middle. Yeah, I love the ball and I love the sign on there. No, of course, I didn't get the sign ready, but. But there you go. I'll hold these up. I'll get the sign ready, and when I get pictures, I'll have the different things in the middle. So there's the sign, there's the flat center, the ornament. I think a red ornament would be awesome as well. And then the back, this one I would, now normally when I use the Unique in the Creek boards, I do not cover my backs. But with this one, I probably look, would because, look, that's a hot mess, okay? Um, so I would probably um, cover this back. Um, you could use placemats or anything like that um, and cover it so that your customer doesn't see that hot mess. But it worked, yo! I wish I had a red. I've got a small one. So it obviously wouldn't be. If you did it on a character board, you wouldn't have to. That's true, but the character, does the character board. Hold on. Let me grab a character board, y'all. Because that was my first thought was to do it on a character board. Okay, now you could. You definitely could do it. I don't know why I was thinking. I was think I had the flower board in my head with this with the zip ties going this way instead of this way. So you definitely could do it on a flower board or um, a character board, and then you would not see all that mess. So Lori is correct. So it can be done. Now I like this look. So if I was to make another one, I would definitely add the additional holes. Um, but you could, like I said, just put three petals in each or two if you like the less. 
in green and white. <laughs> oh, goodness. But yeah, super, super cute. I love it. And I like the different color meshes. And just remember, you really don't need to do anything to this Senna because number one, something's going to be covering it. Um, and number two, that mesh kind of sticks to itself. So you don't need to really do anything with it. All right, y'all. So there you go. Woo! <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> All right, y'all. I am out of here. I'm going to be working on orders the rest of the day. Um, Lori, I did find that plastic sign we were talking about, so I'll message you that. Um, all right, y'all, that's all I've got. Y'all have an amazing day, um, and I'll probably see y'all tomorrow. Bye, y'all.